Well, hey, I'm in the shop today with John Sloan from the Eastwood Company. John, good to see you again, man. Great to be here, Dennis. Looks like we're going to talk about dough, filling, dings, depressions, and other things in your car. Uh, and Eastwood has, has come up with kind of, kind of a cool new uh, way to do this. Historically, old school, you did this with lead. And that's still probably the, uh, still probably gives you the best finish. But there are issues with lead, aren't there? Uh, there are, and uh, the main is the health issue, of course. And yeah, that, that, that poison thing, you mean? That's right. <laughs> yeah, I want to avoid that. <laughs> and uh, and so what people are are, are using a lot is uh, is plastic body fillers, which have different issues. And that can be a problem, uh, as you can see. I, I did some tests here before uh, we came out today, uh, and here's a premium plastic body filler that's been applied to this panel. And you can see with just a very slight bend that a crack develops all the way down to the metal. Also, when it's subjected to an impact test, it, all, it completely delaminated in this section. Whereas with the lead free, I can bend that to the same extent without cracks developing. And clearly illustrating the superior flexibility of a lead free body solder over plastic body filler. Here on the same uh, type of impact test, you can see that there's no delamination holds at up, all. The body holds solder. up a lot better. And the key, if you were if, if you're listening, the key there was what you said was, this is a, a metal filler, but it's lead-free. You've you've developed right. a lead-free body filler. You've lead-free solder. That, that's right, uh, and it's uh, actually easier to use than the leaded type body solder. Well, let's talk about the process of 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 letting in a, a crease in a, a door or something like that. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna I'm going to clean metal as I would any time. Get it nice and, and, and clean and down to bare metal, right? Yes. Then I'm going to brush on a, 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 a solder flux, actually. That's right. It's a, it's a tinning butter, and it uh, serves the same purpose as a flux would w in any type of solder process. Plumbing solder, whatever. Yeah. So I, 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 I put that on. Then I, I hit it with a torch to heat that up. Cook that. A simple propane torch works fine, and you heat that up until you see it turn slightly silvery, and then you wipe it to help spread it across uh, the area that you want to make the repair on. Now the uh, the area is ready to accept the lead-free solder. So I use the same torch, and I'm going to go torch. and I'm going to heat the, the metal and, and the, the solder at the same time, pretty much, and, and just kind of tack this on there, right, and build it up. Build it up uh, to a little bit beyond what you think you would need to fill the depression. And then I'm going to tamp that down with these, these, these paddles here, the wooden paddles. The hardwood paddles uh, work well. They, they just work to shape that uh, repair a little bit. So I get it down to an approximate shape, then I'm going to hit it with a file, and you guys have both the, the flat and the half round, as with, with the paddles, flat and half round, and I'm going to bring that down to a pretty nice surface, pretty close again, and yeah. then something I wouldn't do with lead is you can actually grind this. You can grind this smooth, right? That's right. You can use a power sander with the lead free body solder, and the reason is that it's uh, not toxic. However, there is the particulate hazard. So you so. still want to have a decent dust mask on and everything. Yeah. And if, if, you're, if you're good, uh, you're done. And if you've you got still a few creases, you could, you could skim it with a, a body filler, but you don't necessarily need to if you've really, if you've really kind of done it up right. right? That's right. Once you're, you're used to the process, you can just put a good quality primer over it. And, and you're rolling again. You're going. So yeah. as, uh, as always, Eastwood's taken all the guest work out of this for me and, and made, made this all available in a kit. And this is really, this is really the, the lead free solder kit here. So you've got the, the, uh, the, the flux with your brush. I'm going to put, put that on my tinning That's compound. That's right, the tin uh, the, uh, the lead, which comes in, what, uh, one pound tubes? And one pound tubes the, and uh, the, uh, solder, the lead free pound. solder, I should say. Put and then more. your two paddles half round and, and, and flat, and this is called a solder paste, but it's actually it's kind of a, a lubricant, a paddle lubricant, isn't it? That's right. Uh, the purpose is to prevent the pickup of the body solder on the paddle. And again, our, our, our files here, half round and, and, uh, and flat, and you even throw in a, uh, a DVD on, on kind of how to actually do this by some of the greats in the, in the biz. Actually. That's right. The entire process is right there for you, or if you like, you can visit eastwood.com and uh, see the whole presentation. Right on the website. Yep. And, and voila, you got yourself a lead-free sled. <laughs> you got it. Better and safer. <laughs> hey, if you want to learn anything more about this lead-free solder kit from Eastwood, log on to myclassiccar.com. Yeah, I got some dings and dents over there that we might just want to try this whole Let's thing take out. take a look at. Visit eastwoodgarage.com, the premier website for unique vehicle restoration tools and supplies.